I'm starting to get worried about you. You look terrible. How about you lie down for a few hours? Next time I see a bed, I'll use it. I hope so. What do we do about that crystal portal back on the Crab Coast? Crystal portals form some sort of bridge between our world and the underworld. The underworld's where our spirits go when we die. It's a different plane of existence. Those who go there rarely return. You have experience with those things? No, I just know what they'll spawn. Soulless creatures that hunt our blood. I'm not an expert. Ask a sorcerer. How did you get your spirit back? That was different. Spirits found their well-deserved peace on Skull Island. But the island disappeared as if the Earth swallowed it up. How's that possible? I haven't the foggiest, but we need to be careful. Power in the underworld is reaching out with claws to the world of the living. And it's no friend of humans for sure. Come on, let's go. Of course. Hey you, be careful. This island is dangerous. Of course it is. It's the pirate's headquarters. Home to the notorious pirate Admiral Alvarez. Yeah, but I'm talking really dangerous. Yeah? What exactly? Have you seen it? Evil itself roams the island. Hellhounds have overrun the entire town. How do you know the harbor town is being attacked? I've been watching it. It's bad, believe me. Many were killed, and many have fled. The road from here into the town is guarded by some of those terrifying hellhounds. To be honest, I wasn't brave enough to take up the fight against them. You're no pirate. What are you doing here on Antigua? I'm a guardian, protector of magic and servant of the High Mages on Tyrannis. I was sent here with the mission of obtaining as many magic crystals as possible. Interesting. Look, I'd really love to stay and chat, but... Yes? My orders are taking up all my time. Come with me. I'll take you there. But what about the Hellhounds? We'll be ready for them. Are you sure? Yeah, now come on. Okay. But on your head be it. think of this part of the world. A bunch of outlaws fighting the spawn of hell. Comfy. Maybe eventually I'll feel at home here. You'd blend in well. Ah! You're just saying that to make fun of me. Pirates are dazzled by the glitter of gold. But they'll still realize that owning gold has no value in the underworld. Hunting for treasure is just a useless pastime until the inevitable end draws near. You really know how to spoil things, don't you? Why, thank you.
Here we go. Bloody shadows. What in the world are those hellish creatures? These are harmless. I've seen shadow creatures that are much worse. May the strength of the earth be with us. Is it? Yeah. Gotcha. The harbour town of Antigua. What have I got myself into? Well, it's no use. Thank you for your help. Here, take this. I'll try and sell my wares here. If you need anything else, you'll find me at the marketplace. The wonderful town of Antigua, where virgins are traded and pirates' livers are pickled in rum. I thought the island was called Antigua. The town is too. This is Antigua on Antigua. Don't ask. At last! Where the bloody hell have you been? I've been waiting for days! Happy to see you too. Cut the crap. Where were you? I was hunting for treasure on the Crab Coast. What took you so long? Fuck all, really. I just died. What? Well, I was dead. I hope you can elaborate. Let's discuss this. Come, tell me exactly what happened. A rock cave? Not rock. It comes from the depths of the earth, driven by the power of the underworld. At the end of the cave was a portal of crystal. The shadow creatures use these portals to get across to the other side. They receive their orders from the lords of the underworld through the portals. The hellhounds. Not just them. Creatures that are much worse come through the portals. Unfortunately, that's not the only problem we have. Not a single ship has come into port in weeks. It's as if we've been cut off from the world. We saw a fleet of ghost ships on our way here. Ghost ships? It's Crow. Back from the underworld. I feared as much. The ancient curse is catching up with us. It's not a curse, it's an attack. Who has such power? You need to find out before we are done for. I need provisions and equipment. You know what's going on out there. Take care of those hellhounds before they kill us all. What are the casualties? So far, I've only seen the corpse of Donovan the gunsmith in the square. I've no idea who lives. Get down there and help before there are more deaths.
Antigua is going down the fucking drain. Hey, you can't do something like that. You're going to get into trouble sooner or later. That's lucky. Hey, you can't do something like that. Alvarez's humble abode. I thought they chopped the old pirate's head off long ago. The mountain of debt drove him from Antigua. On his last night, he told everyone that he had found a gilded orb and was planning to head to Tyrannus. When he came back, he had an enormous sack full of gold. Hmm. What business do you have here? You're going to get into trouble sooner or later. Oh, fuck. What? What kind of shit is going on here? still have some things to do here. Now he's going to talk my ears off. What the fuck is going on here? Now don't tell me. You're surprised. Wait a moment. It's always the same with Greenhorns. First total disorientation followed by utter denial. Finally they reach desperation and madness. But rest assured, once total indifference settles in for all eternity, you won't notice much anymore. And who are you? You don't really want to know that, believe me. Too many questions would only drive you further along the path to madness.
Wait, I do want to know. So tell me. You wouldn't be able to bear the truth, lad. Do I need to force you to answer me? You're starting to bore me. Find someone else to bombard with your inane questions. I need to be elsewhere. Stop. Wait. What a nightmare. Fuck. I need help. Bones is still my doctor. Maybe he'll have something for me. I have nightmares. Listen. I'm your doctor, not your shrink. It felt so real. I was an empty shell, walking through a bleak wilderness with no idea where to go. Ah, that's what you're talking about. Well, you'll have to get used to it. It felt as if time had stood still. I was suffocating. You no longer have a spirit, and you turn more and more into a minion of the underworld. Have you already forgotten? I had a dream about a man called Mendoza. What? You don't mean Mendoza the Inquisitor? You know him. Who doesn't know him? A real Inquisition bastard, I can tell you. And anyone who didn't obey his orders was very quickly removed. They say he raided along with the pirates. That sounds interesting. You wouldn't want to encounter a man like that, believe me. He's supposed to have hundreds on his conscience. Maybe. But one thing still puzzles me. Why should a highly decorated Inquisitor make a pact with the pirates? No idea, but he's long dead now. It's funny that you're talking about him. I thought I saw one of Mendoza's ships recently west of Tyrannis. It's probably just a coincidence. You're my doctor. You must help me. All right. Let me think. I remember vaguely how it was when my spirit dwelled in the underworld. I wandered around the southern sea seeking help just as you are now. But I only found it with the native shamans. They gave me some relief. Better than nothing. Anything would be good right now. I think I can help you, but I advise you talk to an expert first. Then find a shaman who knows about voodoo. He'll tell us how we can alleviate the symptoms of your spiritlessness. As far as possible, try to avoid anything that makes you demonic. Any other suggestions, apart from a shaman? The shaman used a black heart to treat me. It helped cleanse my poison blood. Black heart? Black hearts have certain healing properties. They strengthen our blood, especially when it's without spirit. But I've no idea how it works exactly. I'm not a shaman. And what exactly are these black hearts? They are the hearts of demons, the place from which they draw their power. You find them beating in the chest of a Shadow Lord or an Underworld minion. If you want one, you just need to cut it out. You want me to gather the black heart of a minion? Mm, come to think of it, forget about the minions. I'm afraid your case is serious. Only a Shadow Lord heart will help you. So, what would make me more demonic? The more evil your deeds, the more you will become a demon. Avoid mistreating others if you wish to retain your humanity. I don't want to harm people. I want to fight for them. 
That will help to preserve your humanity. Everything you do from this moment on will have consequences. The closer your soul gets to the shadows, the more the minions will reach for you. Why? A demonic soul is strong. There is little that can stop it. You can also turn other demonic souls into powerful allies. On the other hand, no human will help you once you have fully succumbed to evil. I see. Whatever your decision may be, I will always remain at your side, my friend. I found some sort of soul dust. Hmm, no idea what it is. But I'm sure you'll eventually come across someone who can explain it for you. You should probably hang on to it until then. So I'm supposed to cut out the heart of a Shadow Lord, right? The fuck are you talking about? Just how am I supposed to do that? No idea, but I'll let you know when I know. Wonderful. Hellhounds, just what I like. Look for survivors. They should help you find them. Those hounds have made themselves comfortable almost everywhere. Where should I look for the hellhounds? Emma's fighting them on the beach in the east. Check Flynn's warehouse and Blood Oath Square, where Zack is patrolling. Look in the marketplace and visit Grace at the forge. I also saw some of them on my way in from the western beach. I have killed several of the hellhounds already. Where, exactly? I found several on the way here from the western beach. And? Are they dead? Of course. Good work. Those that killed Donovan are dealt with. He was the best gunsmith I ever knew. This is supposed to be a graveyard! I've seen graveyards that were four times this size. There were at least four people for every gravestone. This graveyard is just wasting space.
Who else is here, apart from you and the pirates? I think I saw a demon hunter. Demon hunter? That's what I said. He was also headed to the town. I'll check the local tavern. You might find him there. Why are you looking for magic crystals on Antigua of all places? They don't occur naturally here. That's true. However, they are rare crystals. The perfect treasure for pirates. The mages asked me to search near the pirates and find three specific crystals on Antigua. What's so interesting about these... crystals? They are the source of our power. We need the crystals to work our magic. Why three crystals? Antigua is a small island. If there are any magic crystals here at all, it'll only be a handful of them. Finding just three of them would be an achievement. So you're only here because of the crystals? And to trade, of course. Even if pirates aren't the best business partners. I guess you know what you're doing. I should hope so. What is it that you trade in? A bit of this, a bit of that. Oh, come on, spare me. Just show me what you've got. Of course. Can you teach me something? What would you like to know? I'd like to become a better thief. All right. I'm not good enough yet. I'd like to improve my stabbing weapon skill. All right. Where do you want to search for the magic crystals? I have no idea. But I bet the pirates know something about them. Right. Last time I was here, the warehouse was still in one piece. Could be because of the Hellhounds. That's no reason to burn down your warehouse, idiot.
get to use my weapon! Thanks. I thought I'd have to rot here forever. How did you manage to free me? No idea. My encounter with the Shadow Lord at Crab Coast could have something to do with it. A Shadow Lord? There's something that's even worse than those minions. Wouldn't you like to know? Okay. I don't really want to know all the details. Why were you detained here? How should I know? It's not like I could ask. I was simply overpowered by minions, and before I knew it, I was captured. Still, they kept me alive. But what about my goods? Tell me more about you. Well, when I'm not a captive, I'm in charge of the warehouse. I've only had the post for a short while. No idea what happened to my predecessor. Right. So if you need anything, I'm your man. Always good to know there's a merchant nearby. Your hellhounds in the warehouse are history. Good news. Right. I've got something for you. On the top floor of the warehouse, there's a battered old chest. There are some crystals in it. Some old bloke. I've forgotten his name. Claimed they were magic. Ha. <laughs> I see. It's probably rubbish, but they're beautiful crystals. Take them. You can probably make better use of them than me. All right then. Thanks. Camp Overseer. That sounds boring. I used to work as a swineherd. You stink like shit and the whores won't take you upstairs. Managing crates is the better option. Exactly. I'm really not that good. Do you have anything else for me to do? Hmm. Now that you're asking, my brother Quinn owns a sword fragment that I'd like to have. Bring it to me and your pockets will be filled with gold. Where is he? That is a good question. That scumbag is far away from here. Went on about an island with natives. Kira... Kiba... Keela! Yes, that's it, Keela. Good. I'll keep my eyes peeled. I'll get you the sword fragment. Good. A person like you will go far. You don't say. Show me your goods. No problem.
I reckon I'm gonna have to help you with your search for crystals. Why? Don't you think I can handle it? Honestly? Or do you want me to be polite? What's that supposed to mean? Aren't you afraid of the pirates? Nonsense. Why should I be? I'm a pilgrim sent by the High Mages. All right, hang on. Just so I understand. You're an outsider here on Antigua, right? Uh, yes. Have I got this right? A total stranger trying to steal treasure from the nastiest bastards on the southern seas and on their own island. What the fuck? Yes, but... Do us both a favor and forget your plan. It's shit. But how am I supposed to... You'd better let me do it. Or you won't leave this island alive, my friend. Uh... Alright then. If you say so.